channel. My name is Eve. This is Everyday Artist. And welcome. And this is Rope. And uh, it's already into May. <laughs> Quite a bit. Yes? Mm -hmm. And, <coughs> excuse me, I apologize, but I have no memory of what I really worked on this week, so I'm just going to show you what I think I worked on. Uh, the first being that I really like that little dog that I made before, so I decided to make one for myself. This is a different one. This is called Little Biscuit. Let's see him right side up. <laughs> uh, I don't know that I'm doing any better a job at it, that, and I'm using the gray that I bought for the other one. Okay, I know the other one was black and white, but it was supposed to be gray and white. And I couldn't find the gray when I was going to start, and I was having so much trouble with it that I went ahead and bought gray, just in case. So instead of using that light brown, I'm using. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, here's his head, and one of his ears. I'm taking my time with this one. And I did embroider the nose. I didn't do a very good job, <laughs> but um, I feel like he needs a smile. But, oh, so there's one ear. The ears look a lot bigger than, than I would think, but that dog has big ears. And you curl them a little bit when you put them on, so kind of changes what they look like a little bit. Anyway, that's, I keep them in the bag with the yarn, so that's what took me so long to find it, um, because I don't have a project bag for that, and the, the, spool, the things of yarn are huge. Again, this is chenille yarn. I don't have a bag big enough for these, and I don't want to have one because I really, I like the way this feels, but I really, really, really don't like chenille yarn. <laughs> False part. Um, the little fox that I bought uh, is made with, uh, <coughs> sorry, the chenille, I've got chenille in my lungs. Um, it's made with a fine, yarn, an expensive yarn, but I may just go ahead and get a lesser priced yarn, but the same way to, to make it, because I looked at the prices of that yarn for that little, for that little fox, and I was like, I don't think I want to spend that. Uh, I'm not making these for a child, I'm not making, I'm making them because I like it, because I want to do it. And, you know, I may or may not give this one away eventually, who knows, but um, I'm having fun and, and that's great. But this chenille yarn was $10 a skein-ish and I only need one of each color, so that's great, right? But um, the other yarn for the little fox is more. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. You know, it'd be different if I crocheted or knit all the time. And, and so I would use all the excess yarn that's left over or whatever, but likely not. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. This is the second of the four dogs that are in that, in that uh, grouping and uh, the, way, the reason I went ahead with the chenille sh yarn is not just because they're intended for the thickness of the yarn, but you could tell from the picture that they're soft, and uh, and the the finished item is so cuddly. So, um, yeah. Okay, we're gonna hear more crinkling while I get this off my side. Okay, in 
in no particular order are the other uh, projects that I may or may not have actually done this week. I think so, but you know, who knows. So uh, the first being hands-on design uh, blueberry and on here that lighter color shows up really well because of the color of the fabric. It does not show up as well on mine. And I noticed on the previous berry, the Smyrna crosses were done in the brown and without paying attention because it's a black and white pattern. So, you, you know, you have to like really, really read and all that to make sure you're doing it right for anything that's not like a stitch with the symbol. Uh, I did the Smyrna crosses in the brown like they were on the last one. These are actually supposed to be this color. I decided to just go ahead and leave them because this is up in this area and yeah, so I don't care. But I started working on some blueberries. Um, I, I've only put the light green in these three. I need to put it in those, but you know, whatever. I figured I would just work them this way, and the, you know. So I started putting in the light blue um, Smyrna crosses. And these are Smyrna crosses that are inside the berries with the light blue. And then there'll be some more little spots like this of those later for just single um, stitches. So I don't work on this a lot, you know, maybe um, one strand of whatever color um, because it's not anything I need to finish in any particular amount of time and so I just, you know, when I feel like working on it, I do a strand or two. Usually not one. Okay, so this one I do need finished later this month. Um, this is Happy Hanukkah by Erica Michaels, and I am doing it on 32 count white Lugana. And this is where I am. So now I have the dreidel and the word Happy Hanukkah. That's, oh, oh and one more these stars. So I'm coming along, but I need to really get on it because I only have like two more weeks before my brother-in-law's birthday. My sister said, well, you could just give it to him later in the year for Hanukkah, and I can, but that was my idea, that to give it to him now for his birthday so that when Hanukkah comes, Hanukkah comes up, he can have it somewhere on his desk at home or what have you. He works from home sometimes, he works from the office sometimes, so you know he has options. Okay, and I did a little bit of work on Sweet Wing Studios uh, Are Better Things and a lot of what I've done you can't really see very well. Uh, because the colors are very light and they'll be easier to be seen. Sorry, this is... This is part of the fabric. And that other one... I have these little white slots going down the snowflakes and it's easier for me to count where they're supposed to go if I have the other stuff. So I'm just having this thread with where and, and the same thing with this blue um, because I have the blue going down here but there's um, a couple of spots I haven't finished all the way down and there's a couple of spots in here that are going to have that blue so I don't want to cut the thread because you're doing one maybe two stitches at a time and yes, I carry thread. I know how to, you know, do it where it's easier to anchor one thread. I mean, one stitch. But they're not that far apart. 
and uh, I just would rather do it this way. Now, if it's a long distance, I'll cut it off, you know. Um, but uh, especially if it's a long distance over white, you know, under, you know, underneath the white. But um, I just feel like that uses more thread. So. Uh, this is where I am. I've started doing it. I've started doing these lights. The little glowy around this light. And again, I'm just, whenever I feel like working on it, I put in a thread or two because there's no particular hurry to finish it. I'm not sure if I've done more work on this since you've last seen it. Uh, Corby and Snow's uh, Cute Patterns by Maria, Maria Bravko. Cute dog. And this is where I am. Now these are not eyes, those are cheeks. Um, but I couldn't remember when it was that I put in that, started putting in that white. And I'm like, was it last week? Was it this week? Because our, um, through creative videos are being done in, at weird times, um, I can't remember. Um, my sister, Naomi, is in Boston. I, I guess she's coming home today. And and so she's going around back and forth and back and forth. Um, <clears throat> she had a, a knitting thing. And she's in Boston this week. And then later this month, she'll be back in Boston for her, her daughter's. Um, this week, it's her recital. And, and next time, it's her graduation. So. All right, now the rest is with go. Um, I'm just gonna flash this pattern because there's no picture. Uh, that is a uh, turtle. Uh, it's a free DMC pattern that I got. This is my, like my oldest whip. Um, I have Finish this part of the face except for finishing the eye. And this color doesn't have the blue over it yet. I'm going to put it all in and then put the blue on top, which is what I did up here. Um, the dark blue, uh, I'm putting a full cross of it over. And the light blue, uh, the light gray, just a half cross of it over. These are going to be more of a green color, like the rest of the fins and stuff. Anyway, it doesn't look like a lot, but it actually is. I, I was really happy I was coming in, coming along quickly. I'm not sure about doing the back stitching on this. It has some back stitching in here to uh, put wrinkles in the neck. Um, but since this is not a big enough gap, um, it's off by, I think, one stitch. I have to think if that is going to fit. So I'll decide on that once I get the rest of it done. Also in WIPGO this month, because this month has three, we have the middle square, um, was to work some more on Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts uh, 2023 20, temperature sale. And I'm real happy with how much I've done so far. Now, there's a mistake here. So the T is too close to this. But I decided to just leave it. And over here, is where she put 
her name and where she is. And she put here Grand Canyon. I think that's why this looks southwest. Yeah. Uh, Phoenix would be too short. Now, I could put Phoenix, Arizona, but I think I'm going to put Ahwatukee. Technically, I live in Phoenix, but I live in a suburb of Phoenix, not part of the greater Phoenix area, other city, a suburb. And the suburb is called Ahwatukee. And while it is Phoenix, it is not Phoenix. Um, we are south of a mountain from the rest of Phoenix. And this area is called Ahwatukee. Now, Ahwatukee will fit there very nicely, I think. So I'm going to put Ahwatukee. And she put her name, so I... I can put my name here. And then the second uh, thing comes through right about there. So I'm already further down here to be able to start the flowers. I, ha I was going to put a temperature key here so that you could know what temperature these colors represent. But as I looked at it, I was afraid of interfering with these beautiful flowers that are going to be down here. So I'll either put it underneath or on the side. And I don't care if when I frame it, if you can't see it, it's just there if I ever want to know. So This I'll be working on all month, and the turtle just for 10 days. Although I would really like to finish that turtle. It's a very old whip. And then this year's temperature chart, Stitch and Mommy's temperature turtles. is where I am. So I finally finished the back stitching on this turtle. I finished off the temperatures on that turtle and yes it did cool off again you can see. And this is just a tiny bit of lower fin. I'm gonna not put in the rest of it until I have this in because I'm tired of having to frog out stuff on this pattern. Um, and you notice every turtle is different, so that's really, really pretty cool. So, this is up to May 3rd, I think. So, and it's really not very warm out today. Um, yes, it's warm, but it's not <laughs> as warm as it had been. So that is all I have for you. And it's only less than 20 minutes. So uh, I have nothing else. <laughs> you want to say bye? Hmm? You want to say bye? Bye bye. He say, hi to my friend that says hi to me every week. <laughs> I really appreciate uh, when you guys say hi to her too. <laughs> she doesn't know the difference, but I do. Do you know the difference? Anyway, I'll see you next week. Happy stitching.